Good morning. I am Mark Sebastian. I am the founder of OptionPit.com. This is the OptionPit AM Volatility Report. Uh, good to see everybody here today. And, uh, you know, if, if you missed our Saturday event, um, Creating Income with Option Spreads, it's still available for purchase at OptionPit.com slash income. You are welcome to purchase it. So, uh, have at it, and uh, you'll get the recordings. So uh, if you missed it, go ahead and get it. All right? So let's talk about the market. Here we are. We're down 11 and a half points. Why? Well, we had a, some credit auto sales. Uh, we had this and that. I think most importantly, um, you know, we saw the NASDAQ get above that psychological um, that psychological level that was uh, 5,000, and now it's going to give that away and, and fool around for probably a little bit while it figures itself out. Um, in addition, you know, oil's not really moving much, but the dollar is really rallying, um, and interest rates are, you know, hanging around 2%, which I think is surprising a lot of people. So with that, um, we've got the VIX, which probably got a little oversold yesterday, now back to 13.8. We've got the spread between VIX Cash and VIX March, at a more normalized 1.9%, 1.9 points. So a little more normalized with this rally and a nice spread on VIX April as well. So the spread between March and April is still big, but uh, this spread, at least a little more normal, um, still has about 50 cents of slack in it. So you could see a, you know, a dollar rally in VIX cash and maybe, and maybe only a move up to, 16 and a half, 16, 20, 16, 30 range in the March future. Uh, that's kind of how overpriced they are. Uh, where's the weakness coming from? Well, kind of across the board. You know, there's no big, huge loser today if you look around. Alibaba still looks ugly. Um, and, uh, you know, Facebook's off a little bit. and But there's nothing that's like just screaming at you that it's the big mover. And so, you know what, I, I think this is probably just some people looking at the market at all-time highs, taking a little profit, you know, on some, you know, auto sales or this or that. You know, nothing, nothing really important. I look at today as kind of maybe a breather day. Um, and then, you know, we'll, we'll get a, a, a feel for what's happening tomorrow. Um, you know, aside from that, um, there's really not a lot of other news out there. Um, maybe a little bit with Greece because they still have to work stuff with the IMF, right? That could be um, another issue. Um, my guess is the IMF, the, you know, the IMF is, uh, you know, about as weak spined as any organization out there. So I, I don't think that will end up being an issue, but you never know. Um, I'm sure that they'll get a, uh, an, you know, a, an interesting uh, look from, uh, from those guys. Uh, but aside from that, you know, I don't see a lot of reason to have, like, a major sell-off. That doesn't mean we can't move 20 points today. Um, we can clearly see that after volatility hit, like, these crazy low levels, it's starting to get a little bit of an uptick, all right? It's starting to get a little bit of a tick. And so with that, you might, uh, you know, you might see, uh, you know, at least at, at a minimum, the VIX has bottomed out for a little bit, all right? That would be my my first bet. And then, you know, we'll, we'll see where we go from there. All right. On the day, you know, we'll see what happens. I have not trust that morning sell-offs very much. And uh, I don't really trust this one that much either. Um, that, uh, that would be kind of my net take on, on what I'm seeing today. All right, folks, uh, on that note, if you have any questions, you can call me, 888-TRADE-01. And again, uh, if you have interest in catching our course, creating option spreads, creating income with option spreads, uh, you can just go to optionpit.com slash income to, uh, check out the, to check out the video. All right, folks, hope everybody has a great day, and I will talk to you soon.